Hey you, yes, you, the person who has been searching the internet for weeks trying to find as many tips as you can about building your first PC. Well, do I have the video for you. Hey there, I'm Sarah from Thermal Take Australia and today I want to take you out. Not in like a violent way or in a romantic way, more of a physical way. You know what, I'm just, yeah, it's all still sounds bad. I'm going to stop. Moving on. One of the most overlooked parts of building a PC in my eyes is the tools you need. There are so many guides for how to build or what hardware to look for, but there really isn't that much about what you actually need to do the building part. Let's play a game. Right now, without moving or looking around, can you tell me where a Phillips head screwdriver is in your house? I'm gonna wait like Dora. If you couldn't tell me straight away where one was, because either you have no idea or you just don't actually own one, then you definitely need this video. Because today I'm gonna to take you on a journey to buy some PC building tools. So, let's go. Actually, we pre-recorded that part, so you can go and I'll just, I'll just stay here, all alone in the studio. The first thing every PC builder needs without fail is a screwdriver. Now there is a whole variety of screwdrivers that you can go with and simple cheap one like this will work still. However, when you're two hours into your build, you might regret your choice going with one like this. We recommend a ratcheting screwdriver if you can find one and are happy to splash out a bit of extra cash. And if it's magnetic, that is even better. This can decrease the chances of the dreaded astray screw falling into the void that is your chassis situation. The screwdrivers were super easy to find when we went looking for some located in the tool shop section of the hardware store that we went to. There was a large array of options and prices, so you will certainly find the right screwdriver for you, no worries. The next thing I would recommend is these little guys, cable ties. If you think to yourself, yeah, I have enough cable ties, I'm gonna be honest with you, you probably don't. These come in really clutch during the building process, turning cable management from an unruly, terrifying jungle of a task to a simple and easy one. Getting a good variation of cable ties is a good idea too, so sometimes something is good to zip tie because you know you're not gonna be changing it out, but if you're planning on upgrading it in the future, like maybe your fans, something like that, it might be best sticking with a twist or Velcro tie because then obviously it's easier to switch and change them. These were honestly a little harder to find in the hardware store, but eventually we hunted them down right towards the back where there was a few aisles dedicated to electronic goods and they'd all kind of just thrown everything together. There was a pretty solid array for options of cable ties, but they were honestly mostly zip ties. So I would perhaps recommend looking elsewhere if you want twist or Velcro ties because they tend to be a little bit more PC building orientated and a more general hardware store might not stock them. So this next item you don't really need, but after I discovered it existed, it changed my life. Because look, there is nothing worse than discovering that the screw you need has disappeared. Even worse when you realize it's already tumbled onto the floor and rolled away somewhere. A great solution is a magnetic screw tray. Not only does this ensure your screws don't disappear on you, but it's also super easy to separate them too. This was probably the hardest of the items to find as it seemed like nobody at the hardware store who worked there even knew that they stocked them. Eventually we found them located strangely down an aisle that was mostly filled with miscellaneous wheels. But tucked down at the end of this aisle was a small section dedicated to magnetic related things, including the glorious magnetic screw tray. The next item on this list you might not necessarily use on your first build, but they are honestly a great idea to have, and that is pliers. Specifically though, these sorts of ones that have the sharpened ends. Why? Because they are perfect for cutting through things like cable ties. Sometimes your case has some cables already tied together that you need to release, or perhaps you're taking things out of a build and transferring them somewhere else. So having one of these handy just makes cutting those ties so much easier. Sure, you can try and use scissors, but they're just not nearly as safe and efficient as these bad boys. These, like the screwdriver, are something that you should just probably always know where it is just in case. 
Conveniently, these were located right next to the screwdrivers in the hardware store. Once again, there was a big variety of these, but I would honestly recommend grabbing ones like this, which are designed for cutting, like that. But having a good variety of pliers anyway is still a good idea, so feel free to pick up long nose pliers like this too if you want because these bad boys can come in super clutch when things like screws won't behave and they can kind of hold them still for you. Last item on the list today is microfiber cloths and compressed air cans. So these are honestly more so for after your build is done. Dust accumulates so fast in your PC, honestly faster than you would think, and keeping on top of it is super important from the get-go. In terms of the microfiber cloth, I'm not really sure if they have a dedicated aisle in any of the hardware stores, but we just happen to actually walk past them on our way to find something else. Also, getting a bunch of these is a great idea because you can just chuck them in the wash between uses. So the can of compressed air was located close to the screwdrivers and pliers, but we did actually have to ask for help to find them because it was kind of tucked away a little bit. <laughs> So there we go, we went out for the day, we saw some awesome items for you, and once you go grab them yourself, it'll be time to actually put your PC together. But now, just like a chef who wouldn't go into a kitchen with a dull knife, you are perfectly prepared for anything that PC build wants to throw at you. You got this. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave us a like and pop any thoughts or questions you have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already, and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, why not check out any of the thermal take videos around me? And I will see you next time. Happy building. Bye. A large truck is driving past, but we're not gonna let it get us down. Then we'll take Australia. <laughs>